Welcome to DRD Technology. As an ANSYS channel partner, we provide simulation capabilities in the areas of fluid dynamics, structural mechanics, electromagnetics, and systems and multiphysics. DRD seldom supports ANSYS software in the central United States. We also provide consulting and training for the entire ANSYS software suite. Our mission is to help clients maximize their utilization of ANSYS software to the highest degree possible. This is a demonstration of the CAD integration between Siemens NX and ANSYS Workbench. What I have here is a oil field fluid and geometry. I have a couple bolts, uh, several nuts to hold them in place, a discharge flange here, and the, the fluid end itself. Now the advantage of building this sort of assembly inside of the CAD system is that it is parametric with all the mates that can be created. So. For example, if I go to this dis discharge flange here and change the thickness of that flange, you can see the nuts automatically update uh, based on the mates uh, and align with the face. The bolts get a little bit shorter so they, the ends here remain in the same spot and everything rebuilds successfully. ANSYS can take advantage of this sort of capability, uh, this parametric capability, uh, through the interface uh, that can be set up in the CAD Configuration Manager for ANSYS. Uh, when you set that interface up, you get this ANSYS button in the CAD uh, for in the NX interface, and you can click on Workbench. And the assembly, be it a single part or a multiple part assembly, uh, transfers over into ANSYS Workbench. Once the geometry is transferred into the workbench window, uh, you get this single geometry block here with the NX icon. You can do a simple static analysis, and that's what we're going to do here. So I'll we'll jump into the ANSYS mechanical application. Once in mechanical, you can see the assembly has been imported successfully. All the parts exist. I'm going to set up a pretty simple analysis here. I'm going to fix the ends of the bolts. Apply a frictionless support, uh, like the fluid end is sitting up against the wall or may possibly sitting up against the ground. And then I'm going to apply a bolt pretension to simulate the tightening of this bolt here, and we'll do 10,000 pounds. Now we can take a look at uh, many different results. Uh, I'll look at stresses, equivalent stress in this discharge flange, for instance, and then look at overall total deformations. We'll go ahead and solve this. Once finished solving, uh, you'll get uh, the set of results that you've asked for. Uh, in this case, total deformation. Uh, we have about uh, 12 and a half thousandths inch of deformation. Now, the animation here is auto scaled to 140 times the actual deformations here, so these, these deformations are exaggerated. But you can see that the flange is bent over the, the top of this fluid end here as the bolt is tightened. If we take a look at stresses, we see the discharge flange sees a max stress of about uh, 25,500 PSI. Now, to take advantage of the, the CAD interface uh, between NX and Workbench, um, I'm going to show a little bit of a design change here. I'm going to make this flange a little bit bigger. So I'll jump back over into NX, modify the discharge flange thickness. Again, everything updates automatically for me. I can jump straight back into mechanical and use this update geometry option to pull in the new changes. The huge advantage of this sort of capability is that all of the objects in the tree are reassigned to uh, the parts or the faces that they were assigned to before. So any connections that may have been created are automatically reassigned back to where they were. Any mesh controls, if I had created any, my fixed support is still attached to the end of the bolts. My bolt pretension is still on there. And my equivalent stress object is still scoped to give me stresses just on this discharge flange. So with very minimal effort, I can do a design change and come back into mechanical and jump right into solving again. So we'll go ahead and do that here. So looking at this, we've reduced the equivalent stress from 25,500 PSI to about 7,100 PSI, a pretty large difference there. If we take a look at deformations, the previous deformations were about 12.5 thousandths, uh, with the increase in thickness of the discharge flange from 20 millimeters to 80 millimeters, we've dropped the 
overall deformation of the structure down to a little over four thousandths of an inch. That is the end of this demonstration.